Well, hello, boys, and welcome to our top five student jokes of the week for Friday, February 26, 2021. It was great to see uh, some of our kindergarten to two students back this week. We'll have some three to five students coming back next week. And whether we are hybrid or fully remote, uh, I know we've had lots of great evening activities as well, like our recent K-2 bingo, and we'll keep having them monthly uh, so that we can all celebrate uh, our wonderful school together. Okay, top five jokes for this week. We have two guest uh, appearances this week. We'll have Boo Boo Bear and also the Voorhees Viking uh, sharing in at least one of the jokes. So that should be fun. Our first joke this week comes to us from Corinne Krakowski in Mrs. Harvey's third grade class. And Corinne asks, what does a clock do when it's hungry? And I have not eaten in a while. I am hungry right now. But if I was a clock and I was hungry... What would I do? Well, Corinne lets us know that a clock, when it's hungry, goes back four seconds. Goes back four seconds, like four seconds on the second clock. But for seconds, like having a second helping. <laughs> All right, so a clock goes back for four seconds when it's hungry. I love that joke, Corinne. Thank you. Joke number two comes to us from Derek Taylor in Ms. Callie's class. And... I think this might be an original from Derek, so I'm going to be a little partial to some jokes when I think they're completely original and try to get work some of them in. Uh, Derek asks, what do you say if you are a coach to noodles and the noodle's in a race and is currently in last place? So if you're a noodle coach <laughs> and uh, the noodle is last place in a race, what do you say to the noodle? Derek lets us know. You say, go noodle. I get, I get it, and, and people that are not in school might not get it, or parents might not, but Go Noodle is something that our students love. Our brain breaks every day. Uh, they often use Go Noodle. So Derek, I think that's an original. I'm very impressed. Great joke. Uh, joke number three this week comes to us from Giada Mascata in Mrs. Harvey's third grade class, and I'm going to uh, allow Boo Boo Bear to tell his joke. a treat thank you uh, boo boo bear for uh telling us that fabulous joke from giada and for uh sharing your own rap music about uh mummies with us that was that was excellent thank you thank you giada and thank you boo boo bear joke number four for this week our penultimate joke comes to us from angelo richardson in ms dansky's class and angelo's joke is how did the student do on his verb tense test and angelo actually put his name in the joke he said how did angelo do on his test about verb tenses well angelo says he barely passed it like passed it like that would be passed as in the verb tense and p-a-s-s-e-d would be passing or failing a test so he barely passed it <laughs> i love that that is so clever angelo awesome joke these jokes every week are great all right and finally our fifth joke and final joke for this week comes to us from jackson kriskowski in dr Tikio's kindergarten class and i'm gonna have the Voorhees viking share this joke with us hello children Voorhees viking here it's wonderful to see you and our final joke for this week, what is the scariest plant in the
the jungle. Well, Jackson lets us know the scariest plant in the whole jungle is the bamboo plant. The bamboo. Ah! 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 Dr. Theory, I saw you jump when I said bamboo. <laughs> oh. Oh, I did jump. Uh, I, I did jump. You really startled me there when you said bamboo. Uh, Jackson, outstanding joke. Thank you. Uh, everyone, please keep the jokes coming. Uh, enjoy your weekend, and we look forward to seeing you next week.